Okay, so now to turn this into some G code, it's pretty easy inside of uh, Inkscape. Go up to Extensions, and I found for these files they're really big. Uh, and so a lot of times when I import them into Open Builds Cam, it kind of has problems. So I've been using this more often. Okay, so you want to go to G Code Tools and come down to your, uh, let's do Orientation Points first. Hit Orientation Points and just click Apply. And then hit Close. And you can see now we have orientation points right here. It's this 0, 0, 0 that we want. I don't really know what this is. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect anything. Now, you're, you're going to find as I go through all of this stuff, there may be better ways to do it, but this works for me. And so if you know a better way, put it in the comments. I would love to hear it. Okay. So now go back to Extensions, uh, G-Code Tools, and now we gotta get we got to go to the Tool Library. So you have to add these things. It's kind of a weird little process, but it works. You have to add these things into the document in order to make it make the G code. So now we've got our orientation points. Now we have to add a, a box that's got our tool. Click the default tool, hit apply, and then close that. You're going to zoom in on this. Change to your text tool so that you can change things over here. You can name this something if you want to. Your diameter is just going to be change that to one for one millimeter. It's saying that your needle, that's how big your needle is. It doesn't matter, but you don't want it to think that you've got a 10 millimeter uh, you know, router bit tool that won't fit into some of this profile. So just tell it it's one. Now your feed, this is going to be how fast you want your machine to go while it is sewing. And for me, I put 5,000 millimeters, I think it's per minute, but then shape I don't care about, I don't care about any of this. Now passing feed, that's going to be how fast your machine can go uh, when it's doing rapids, when it's just moving to where you need it to move. And I'm going to put that at 5,000 also. And then this fine feed down here is the same thing. I put it at 5,000. I set all of them to the same, and it works fine for me. But if you find that you need your uh, rapids to be faster than your sewing speed, like you want it to move across the quilt really fast when you're done, but when it's sewing, you want it to go slower, you'll just turn this feed down right here or also this fine feed down here. Okay, that's all we need to do for this tool. So then we back out and we're ready to make G code. So now we go up here and we hit, oh, you want to, I forgot one thing, go up here to your select tool. You want to click your uh, image that you did or your path, go to extensions, G code tools, path to G code. And Let's see, some of this stuff, you know, uh, Inkscape remembers what you did. So some of it uh, will have to change. If, if this um, offset along Z is not at zero, change that to zero. These preferences, you need to change this Z safe height to zero. I think it starts at like five or something. And that's going to uh, lock up your... Uh, for me, it locked up my control software. It didn't like that. So change that. This is what I was saving earlier. So we're just going to save this to scrolling vines. And you need the end of it to be .g code. All right. And then down here, this is where you want it to save. Okay. So I'm just going to save it where I've been saving stuff today and hit apply. Okay, now you get this error. I get this every time. It tells me that if you're on this page right here, this preferences, it can't run it. So just click off of that, click onto something else, hit apply, and now it's going to make our G code. Okay, if you close that, now you can see the G code right there. All right, that's the G code running across the top of our image. Okay, all right, so our G code has been saved. So now we want to open Open Builds Control. All right, so here is Open Builds Control, and I have opened. I went to Open G code, clicked this, 
click the file that we just loaded and here it is. Now if you don't name when you're naming your uh, when you save your G code coming out of Inkscape if you don't put dot G code at the end of it uh, open builds control won't no, don't see it as uh, G code that it can use. Okay, so here we are. You can see it looks like it's going to go right up here and start, and it's going to end right here, and then it's going to run all the way across the quilt like that. Okay, a lot of times when you do this, though, it's going to come up here and start, or it's going to come across here and start wherever your start point is, and then it's going to end like up here, and when it gets done, it's going to do a diagonal across, and it's going to sew all the way across your quilt when it gets done. So in order to stop that, what you want to do is go into the G-Code Editor right here. Go G-Code Editor. And right here before it says Penetrate, put in a code, capital M, zero, zero. And that's going to cause it to pause. So what it's going to do is it's going to move to where it wants to start, and then it's going to pause. And then we're going to drag all the way down to the bottom. And right down here where it says end cutting path, we're going to put in a capital M zero zero. Hit enter. And then that's going to tell it to when it gets to the end, it's going to stop because see, it's going to be over here way over X, X 1221 and Y uh, 1.9. And from there, it's going to go all the way to zero. So, it's going to sew that whole thing if we don't stop it. So what will happen is up here at the top, you'll start the program and it'll run and it's going to make, it's going to make this move to here and then it's going to stop. And when it stops, you're going to uh, pull up your thread, lock your stitch, tell your machine to run, and then you're going to start your G-code and it's going to sew all of this. And then when it gets to the very end, it's going to stop. Then you're going to pull your thread up, cut your thread, turn your machine off, tell it not to sew anymore. And then you can either tell the G-code to stop or you can uh, start it up again and let it go over here to your zero. So what it's going to do is it's going to start down here in the corner. You're going to set it until this is zero. And then it's going to jump up here and stop. You're going to set your start your stitch, pull your, your thread up, lock your stitch, then you're going to tell it to start, it's going to sew all of this, and then it's going to come way over here, and it's going to stop. And this is where you're going to cut your thread, and then you can let it continue, and it'll come all the way over here, and it'll stop at zero. Then what you'll do is, you'll whatever your repeat is on your pattern, however many inches, it might be the size of your block. It might be 8 inches, it might be 12 inches, it's whatever you this height is sometimes they repeat into one another so this might be 12 inches but you're you want to set the next row to start at 10 inches because you need it to go into the other one two inches or something you just have to kind of figure that out and then so what you would do is so you do this you run this block and this is your zero and so now you want to do the next one so you move down whatever that predetermined amount is and you tell the machine that this is now zero and you run your next block and you just keep going until you get to the end. Now when you get to the bottom you might need half a block. That's where over in Inkscape you may have to you know highlight that and break those nodes apart and clear all this out and come back and reconnect that. Or you just leave um, a lot of backing material on your quilt frame and you just quilt that backing material don't worry about it. Alright so now that we've got this here we can go and we can simulate it. We're going to speed this up a thousand times and we're going to hit simulate. And there it goes. You watch this little cone run around. And you can watch this run and it will run. Now, it will not simulate the pauses. It just simulates the G-code itself. So you'll have to, I, I would tell you, you know, when you make, make some G-code, put it on your machine and run your machine without it sewing and just let it run over what you're going to quilt and make sure that it's doing what you want it to do before you ever tell it to um, to actually sew something. And, you know, the um, 
we quilted a lot of old bed sheets before we finally started doing quilts that you know we wanted to keep. Now let's go and let me show you how you can make a G code in. All right, so to use Open Builds Cam, you can search for Open Builds Cam. Click on this one here, Open Builds Software, and then you'll see down here, go to Browse to Open Builds Cam. It's at cam.openbuilds.com. Now, this is going to bring in your machine. So, like the controller, I'm using the Open Builds black box. I have a video on that and how it works. Um, pull that up and it'll show you how easy this thing is to use. You don't need to select a machine. And then select your tool initiation. I don't do anything with any of that. And then come down here and set. This is where I set the maximum size of my frame. You'll want to measure that out and put that in there. And then your power and speed scale. So zero to however fast you want your machine to go. The fastest mine goes is 5,000. And then you got these two we don't care about and we don't care about advanced and you're going to hit save. Now that pulls up this. Now <clears throat> we're going to open the file that we saved. So if we go back to our Inkscape, we've already, I'm going to get rid of this G code. Let's save this. All right, we're going to save that. Now we go back to Open Builds Cam. Open your file. Here is the item that, uh, here's what we're wanting to make G code for. So, zoom in a little bit. You want to click on that until it turns red there. Then come over here to Tool Pass and see this Add? Click the Add button. Create New Operation. Now, on Vector, you just want to name this whatever it is. Okay, now this is the important part right here. Drop down, come to Other, Pin Plotter, No Offset. Click that. Now your feed rate, this is the size of your uh, end mill or your pin. Make this one millimeter and then change your uh, feed rate to whatever your fastest feed rate is or whatever you want your feed rate to be. All right, we don't care about any of that because we don't have those and hit apply. And now you can see this is your um, this is your tool path. Now, the other one you saw ran across the bottom. This is what I'm talking about where if it starts right here and it finishes over here, when it gets done, it's going to cut it's going to sew a path all the way across. So it's important to put those uh, pauses in there to, to stop it. Okay, so come up here and hit Generate G-Code. And it has made the G-Code. Now, you can click this Save button and save that G-Code somewhere, or you can just transfer the G-Code to Open Builds Control, which you already have open down here. So I click that, and it loads it right in. And you're ready to go. Again, you want to come to G Code Editor and put in. It's a little harder to find in here. So it's right before this tool on. You want to insert a line by hitting Enter, capital M, 0, 0, and then go all the way to the bottom. This one, I want to do it. See, it's going from X. Uh, 1145 and then it's going to X negative Y so that's going to cut all the way across my quilt so I want to add a line right there M00 like I said it's harder the one that open builds cam makes it's harder to figure out where to put these pauses and then you want to save that um, you don't have to save it to run it but you want to save that back to your original file so that when you use it next time they'll already be in there and there you are that's got your G-code ready to run your machine. All right, well, I hope this wasn't too, too confusing. 
Uh, and if you're doing this, maybe it was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.